What is going on everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're starting things out with a dead car. The Talon broke down on me on the side of the road yesterday after about an hour of driving. Uh, it seemed to lose fuel and I've already diagnosed the problem so we're going to jump right into that in today's video. Uh, we've got some other updates as well like a new daily driver. I'm excited to share that with you guys. I'm super happy with my new purchase. Let's get into today's video and I'll show you what we're talking about. So, as you can see, the trunk is open. I got the battery charging right now because the car died on me yesterday and I was trying to start it and do all sorts of stuff. And anyways, killed the battery. The fuel pump, the fuel pump died. So I came out this morning. First thing I went to do was check the inline fuse, which is right there. And sure enough, I don't know if you can see it all that well. Ah, there it is, broken fuse. So I still have not really figured out why that happened. Um, after an hour of driving, I was just kind of cruising on the freeway and the fuse blew. So I I don't know, but we did made some changes in a video that will be coming out probably after this one, uh, cause I'm still figuring out how to do everything properly. So I installed a flex fuel sensor in the car and I cannot get ECM link to actually log the flex fuel values. I'm not sure if I wired it up wrong or what exactly happened. I also replaced two studs on the fuel pump. So the fuel pump was actually out in that video, which was just a few days ago. I had to replace two of the studs on the sending unit. And also along with that, another change of the fuel pump was I actually grounded the black wire that comes out of this connector. And I know this wiring's a mess, so don't judge me too hard on this, but I put a little terminal on this and I was able to ground this to the chassis, which I have it unplugged right now because I thought that maybe that was the problem. But then my fuel gauge started to work. So I have a fuel gauge, it's not very accurate. <laughs> <laughs> my low fuel light was on and it was showing a quarter tank. So again, not accurate. Um, DSM things, I guess. But everybody who rides in the car, does your fuel gauge work? No, no it does not. So to get on with today's video, we need to go get some fuses because for some reason I don't have any fuses. That leads us into the new daily driver. This is my 2012 Ford F-150. So this truck is the 3.5 EcoBoost. It is the Platinum Package. I am the second owner of it. First owner put about 100,000 miles on it. It's got the power running boards, the brown leather seats, all the brushed aluminum trim. It's got this really sweet black. Some of these are wood, I really like the black. Uh, it's got all the Ford, you know, all weather mats, the Platinum badging, of course. Sunroof, heated, cooled seats, the nav, Sony radio. It's the Super Crew. It's got heated rear seats too. I love the brown leather. Get the platinum stitching in the seats. First thing I did with it, I got it tinted. So we got 20% on the side windows and I went ahead with 50% on the front windshield. And I also got rid of the factory stupid antenna and got a stubby one. This is like $8 on Amazon and way better. Besides that, got some nice Michelin tires on it. It's got new brakes all the way around. I'm not huge on this fiberglass tunnel cover, but it is kind of nice. It's super hard to wash. I can't reach up there, but it's also carpeted completely on the inside. So not totally sure what I'm gonna end up doing with that and my subs from the Mazda are there. Another note on that, yes, the Mazda is gone. I do not own that car any longer the platinum badging. Finally have a car with a backup sensor, or backup camera, rather. So that's awesome. Uh, I, I'm super happy with this truck. It has been very nice, very nice to own. So with that being said, let's go ahead. We need to go to the store and grab some fuses so that we can get this thing running again, even though it's very wet outside and I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to drive it today. We'll have to see if the roads dry out, so. I think one of my favorite things about this truck is all the brushed aluminum. It's just, it's such a great color. If you don't know this about me, my favorite 
color as far as like vehicles go which people will say oh it's not a color blah, blah, whatever it's silver i love silver silver is just my favorite color my mazda is silver the talon is silver it's a great color i'm really happy that this thing has the brown leather seats because all the black with like the black leather i think it just would have been too much i like the extra colors it really is just a very nice uh, package. With all the coronavirus stuff going on, I think my favorite thing to see as I'm driving around are how many people are just like getting outside and walking around and doing activities outside. It's a very interesting time in society. You just gotta find the little bits of good that's going on and I think that's one of the good things that's going on is people are getting outside and walking around because they're sick of being cooped up in their houses just like me but I get around and drive around. Black Platinum crew right here. Okay, now that we have our fuses, let's go ahead and pop this thing in and see if we can get the car to start. So I am using the same 30 amp fuse. Uh, we'll see how that ends up working out. Yeah, still don't hear the fuel pump. Bummer. Looks like we gotta dig a little bit deeper. Two hours later. I figured out the problem. And it's just another me causing my own failures. I pinched the power wire when I put it back together. So eventually, I guess it just shorted out. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, now with this wire fixed, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this thing back in, see if we can't get power to the fuel pump. Alright, well, once again, the car runs. So, that's good. I'm gonna shut it off before it sprays too much oil. So the only other thing that I noticed that I think is very interesting, I think you'll be able to hear this over the camera, it's pretty loud, but now when I turn my key on, the fuel pump instantly turns on and it doesn't shut off. It's not like it primes and then it shuts off, like it just turns on. It's pretty loud. I feel like I never used to hear that. Well, now that the car is fixed and running again, it's time to take it for another little drive. Let's get this thing started up and we'll hit the road.
is on E85. She's running at about 26 pounds of boost. Give you guys a little 2 3 action. You can see what it's like. like that we're back home it really was a great way to spend the last bit of today looks like today is going to be like the nicest day for at least a week so it's good to get outside i'm glad that we got the car fixed i don't know why everything is so blue right now on my camera i'm glad we got the car fixed i'm glad it wasn't anything major it really didn't cost me any money except for the trailer last night so um i guess all is well that ends well Still have some things that need to be looked at and addressed on this car. Uh, there's a, well, it's an old car, you know? So we'll be definitely making some more videos here soon, especially now that I have this entire month off of work. Thanks for watching today's video. If you haven't already, please give the video a big thumbs up. It helps the channel and make sure you hit the subscribe button on the way out too. We'll see you in the next one.